Hi, I'm Vondela Fever, and today our project is to create a permanent botanical succulent wreath. Undeniably, succulents continue to gain popularity, and so providing something that would be this cool for your customers or for yourself is really a fun thing to do. So we're going to begin with a 12-inch wreath form. This is a styrofoam wreath form. We also have a roll of moss. Um, this is just has a wire base on it and it's covered with moss. We obviously have a little bit of ribbon you can see up front here and then many of our different succulents. So to begin what we want to do is to cover the wreath because we don't want to be able to see that green through the succulents and that way we don't have to fill every little nook and cranny. So we start with the moss roll and when we're going to use it, before we use this, we're going to pull it apart and separate it a little because it makes it easier for us to make those insertions. It's a nice thick moss roll and then that makes it a little bit easier to get through it. So we're going to spread that out, do that, and then we put our wreath in right here and wrap it around. And we're going to use some floral wire that we've cut in small pieces and we're going to hairpin this into our wreath. So we're going to just continue to go around the wreath and put this in place. Once we have this secured, we do want to put a ribbon around here in case you would like to hang this for a door hanging. It's a perfect door hanging or a wreath that could go on a table, so we really want to have it multifunctional. So we're just taking this linen ribbon. Linen is more popular now than the burlap. It's kind of like taking the place of that burlap, so be sure and take a look at the, the trend on that. We're going to cut up, tie our ribbon. And then we're putting the knot inside because we want a finished look at the top here. So once we have this secured, now we're going to begin with our insertions of our um, permanent botanical succulents. As you see, I have a large variety of colors and shapes and varieties of our succulents. So we're just going to begin by inserting these into the wreath. One thing I find that's very helpful when you're making the wreath in a hard styrofoam, depending on what you're using. And of course we want to make sure this stays in place, so a hard styrofoam works very well, is to use a screwdriver and make a hole first. Found that using that, honing our hole, and then doing our insertion of our succulent works much better if we do it that way. And of course if you see that the hole is um, too loose, then you want to get some hot glue and make sure you're hot gluing those into place. So then we're just going to continue around on the wreath, filling in. When we start doing this, it works best for us to select our larger succulents and place those where we want those, so we're going to have a nice balance of weight. So we look at that, this one goes in nice by itself, here we're going to do another hole pilot hole to put this in, and here we have another larger succulent, like I'm saying it's, it's so important that we get that balance of the different weight of our succulents, and so we've added those in, which are our focal points on our wreath, Then we just continue adding the different types of succulents. You're going to continue that, grouping them all the way around and filling in as much as you need to. Remember, we have the moss in there so we don't have to cover every one of the holes that we've, we've um, when we're looking in between the gaps between these permanent botanical succulents. So our creation that we want to come up with is something that's going to be suitable for a table as well as a door. And here we have a finished product for you to see, and that's you just keep building and coming up with something that's beautiful obviously for the door or a centerpiece. Thanks for joining us for this demonstration from Pioneer Imports and Wholesale.